Hello everybody, welcome back to more Wizard of Legend. We are gonna be rocking a build with the new summoned Power Ranger-esque boys and the Wind Agents kind of as our main sort of focus with the Grimoire of Ruin, which increases their damage by 20%. I've been told that these guys are in fact summoned agents, even though they don't have the little health bars. So I'm gonna take the word on that. Worst comes to worst, it'll still buff up the damage of the Wind Boys. Other than that, we have the moves that you've seen already before. Not a whole lot of variety on the basic attacks and dash front that you can really even do. So, we're going to give it a go. I'm going to be a little bit rusty. I've stopped playing for a little bit. So, hopefully... Also, I, yeah, I was going to say, is this room not going to go for me? We've got to make sure we summon our guys. It's kind of what the whole build's going to be about here. <laughs> I like him so far. Okay. All right. Let's just put him down and run. They definitely seem to do quite a bit. At least they cause a ruckus. That much is for sure. Oh. Too far away. I really want to get the spinning top because it seems like I always get that every time. Is it really... Am I, like, teleporting past the trigger point, or...? I am. Weird. That seems... Okay. Like, that could be abused. Maybe for speed running quite a bit. I know that speedrunners almost exclusively use that move. Maybe that's why. I always assumed it was just because you, uh, you can jump over some walls. Taking a lot of damage here for the first floor. Get him, boys. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely just taking the word on the fact that... Ah, shoot. These guys are summon agents. I assumed it was only health bars, but... We'll see here. Speeds up your basic arcana. Could be nice. You're a leap. I don't know. Kind of want to play... Kind of want to play towards my theme. Save up my money just in case. Definitely going to wait until uh, we see our normal shop, for sure. But I want to see uh, I want to see the upgraded version of our knights in action. What is this track suit about? Arcana of matching elements reduce damage from that element. Okay. It does seem nice. 2% chance of dealing 300 bonus damage with your critical hits. Uh, yeah. We're gonna try that out for sure. That plus a crit-heavy build could be really neat. Oh, god. Dang it. Definitely wanna... Also, we have some symbols. Or at least what looks like symbols here. Destroys all projectiles in the area when hit by a projectile. Eh. I don't know. Seems... Nice enough, but not like, not like a game changer at all. I suppose, actually, you know what? Maybe on bosses I see that becoming really handy. It depends entirely on how big is the area. Like, I, I think if it's a, like, a, the whole screen, if it wipes the bullets like a blank in Gungeon, that could be real nice, actually. Because for some reason, I in my head, I had it that there was a lot of invincibility frames. There are not. This is not Gungeon. In fact, it's probably going to be more useful than it is in Gungeon because the fact that there is not really invincibility frames, or if they are, they're really... It's a lot lower than something like Gungeon. Where it's like on a large like hit interval. Instead of, you know, a 500 health point, it's actually just like, you know, like 8 health it might end up meaning more. We will see. We're at 100% completion here. Don't know why I'm exploring. Definitely want this just because it seems interesting. If we put down these guys and their crits count, could be cool. He. They don't be, like seem to be doing like a lot of damage really. Ooh. 
actually thought that night was uh ah, ah, dang it I I got perfectly destroyed by him just run just wait let him do his attack okay well volt pinball cool I am real rusty I guess let's take the health move on leaving the floor with full health I mean yeah, I wish we could take some money with us, too. But I'm really excited to have Volt Pinball. I would pay 100 gold just to take that. Can re really just <laughs> play and act, like, pretty actively here. Just put up all of our all of our bonus stuff and kind of walk around. Walk right into that. Oh, it's amazing. We can really just disrupt stuff. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Okay. I knew you were there. Okay. It really is tough to, like... Yeah, Gungeon helps me quite a bit. In uh, learning to get the ropes of this. But... Ugh. When you stop playing one for a while, you do get, like... You do miss a couple uh, dodges just because the timing is you know it's kind of off like you think you can move out of the way fast enough or something along those lines can we just do this <laughs> and jump over there with our little landing balls and Ooh, be just as good Thirty percent. Such a good dash. Oh, let's make him hit the explosive. Oh, get him, boys! Can even dash over there, cause some real havoc. Just want to reveal the map there. Increase critical hit damage by 50%. Okay. Calls down lightning on a nearby enemy. Stuns for 0.625 seconds with 10 total damage. Critical hit damage is nice, but I, for some reason I thought that was the uh, the melee one that increases critical chance, which would be nicer with what we've got right now. I think I might go with that lightning aura. Oh, came back because I thought we had the portal. Whoop. No. <laughs> oh, hell. Okay, just run in there with our lightnings. Ooh. There's some weird slight screen slowdown when we get that uh, that 300. I saw it. I saw it show up. Messed up my frame rate. But hey, I guess at least we know when it's going to happen. But now I guess I don't really want it to happen a lot. Now that I know it's going to mess up my frame rate. I mean, 300 is a pretty big bonus, though. I wonder if it's a... I don't know, maybe, maybe we just happened to coincidentally have frame rate issues right when it happened. But, I don't know. I saw that 300 there. I feel like it's not a coincidence. I don't think we want to trade anything. I'm really happy with our stuff. So far. Thought I got out in time. I saw a 270 with the uh, the blue arrow, down arrow by it there. So I think that was somebody doing a crit. Yep. That wasn't me. Yep. I assume that my ads can. I guess I don't know why they wouldn't be able to. All right. Boss fight. Why not? Oh! Summon my boys too early. Yeah, 
There we go. If we summon them, they can attack him like crazy while he's doing his attack. And that is pretty ni nice. Oh. Jeez. Okay, well, I saw his health go down like insanely fast there. What does this do? Defeating enemies grants a 20% chance to un unlimited, add unlimited charges to your movement arcana. Unlimited charges? I don't think that is going to apply to us. It's a nice sentiment. Nope. But, yeah. Unless it means unlimited cooldown, I assume it's just talking about, like, the fire, like, the flame dash charges, or the circuit line. I mean, maybe we want that, now that we have a chance to have infinite, infinite charges. That just seems dangerous. Maybe stupid. It's a pretty big aura for the potential stun there. Okay. Pretty good on the health department. <laughs> okay, some of my guys, some of my guys, take them out. That's the cool thing, is we can really just uh, do our stuff and, like, our dodging like crazy. Doesn't really matter. We're going to be doing just as much damage. Oh, boy, oh, boy. All right, all right. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And then for the hell of it, on your dead body, some of the Power Rangers. Okay, it's nice to have the upgraded version. Summons an additional buzzsaw. <laughs> Try it out. Hey, yeah. Does, uh, doesn't really function, you know, with our our theme, but that doesn't always have to matter so much. Summon run. <laughs> it's also the fact that I don't know that I really like the boss sauce that much. It's maybe more the, the thing I was getting at here. Maybe in these like tiny hallway rooms, they're gonna be a bit better. I can't really tell how effective our aura is. I'm just gonna assume it's good until I can tell otherwise. That yeah, seems nice. It seems okay. Maybe even good. Got my Power Ranger team ready. Aw oh, man. Power Rangers! It does a lot. It looks like they apply status effects to him too. The Lightning Aura should probably do a really good job at helping us, like, lock down a single target. Okay. Saws are growing on me. It is kind of nice just to have a, one move that's a little bit normal. Oh! Can summon up. Oh my god. Jeez! <laughs> summon the Saws and then just, uh use it as time to set up, because there, there's a decent amount of stun locking that it does to them. And that's pretty nice. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> I threaded the needle with that one. Okay. Okay, let's just run away for a moment because we don't need to be in a stressful situation. Oh, that sound is uh, our boots activating, which doesn't really matter to us. Is this a summonable? 
I gotta go with it. Oh! That works in here, too. For some reason, I thought that was only in the shop. The, the basic shop. I'll take it. What is this, though? Destroying an enemy projectile grants 15% signature meter? Does that stack with the symbols? Getting hit gives us 15% for every projectile we destroy? Hold on. We got to see if that's true. Getting hit one time would basically give you a full charge if that's true. Which means Power Rangers for days. Ooh. Oh, I love the upgraded Volt Pinball. You are going down, my friend. Oh. But an extra summonable, you say? For extra death, you say. What does this even do, though? When below 20% gain additional evade chance. Briefly ho hover over pits. Probably the single most damage preventing item in this game for me. Am I right, commenters? Let's. Ugh. Where are we. We do have a shop left. No, we don't. Summon everybody to do our work for us. Okay, we we got something. I think it was just health. We have to do that just in case. Signature charges. 30% faster on the 20% health. Sounds cool, but oh well. Ooh, I should have definitely dodged out of the way. Wait, there. God. Dang it. Not noticing a lot of charge being built up. Do those not count as projectiles in the normal way? Because I know there's some other... Oh God, we do so much damage. There's some other weird inter interactions with it. Sands of Frost is, doesn't have a downside, does it? No, doesn't really have an upside for us either, though. Oh, that's right. But we can uh, hold on to it. Maybe we can sell it if we run into the whatever the indiana jones boy boy with hat boy in leather clothes and hat oh yeah rub it in first the stands of frost and now <laughs> oh god i deserve i deserve that hit there because that was the craziest dodge shouldn't have been able to get away with it you can't keep getting away with this. That's how I feel like every time I, every time I get a dodge, I really don't deserve. Whoop. Boy, oh boy. We got a lot of boys. <laughs> Man can dream, okay, nope. Wait a minute. sucks. If they could attack it, chaos does count as an everything bagel. But that should not have happened. I keep on walking in like face first and just like literally walking into him. Perusing into them. Okay. I just have a very non-traditional build here. My only, like, normal attack is my basic. I should just stagger out my moves a little bit more. I shouldn't pop them all in one go. Because that way I always have guys doing something for me. Gain signature charge equal to 100% of the damage taken. I mean, could be good. Increase damage of your signature. I don't know if that really works. I 
mean, I'll probably come back and get that coil. We can really, really charge up our signature. Some of the Power Ranger teams all over the place. Ooh. Summon a team from every generation of Power Rangers. Ooh. Uh oh. I really feel like I should be seeing way more 300s. I know it's it's only 2% and it's on crits. I guess I just answered my my little problem there. No, I shouldn't be seeing more. We don't have any bonus crit. Oh, God, stinky, stinky air spinner. Spacing it out a little bit. I love using my brain. I like Wizard of Legend because it challenges me. Usually it does. <laughs> Usually it does. That room was uh, was an exception. It just was perfectly, perfectly uh, spaced out for my my stuff to kind of destroy it. Whirling Wind Agent enhanced. Move and attack more quickly. I mean, right? If they attack more quickly and they do 20% more damage than normal, they should be scaled up pretty well. Oh my goodness. One fifty, okay. We'll come back for that if we if we can. Mm. Did I just get a, I got a buzz. Something on my wish list is on sale, let me guess. Yup. That seems to be happening a lot. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. This wouldn't really... Crazy boy. Crazy boy does crazy things. More at 11. I can take it. Come on, you and me, Halo. Crazier boy doesn't even... Ah! Buying health is for suckers! Ah! We're so screwed. What have I done? I've either done the greatest or the worst. I'm not sure yet. Hey! I've done the worst. Nah! We got him. No, we didn't get him. It didn't count. I've done a bad. I've done a bad thing. Papa! Papa, I've done a bad thing! Ooh! Get him! Teamwork! Destroy him! Oh, my God. Thank you, Mirror Shield. All right. All right. Oh, there's a smart thing, and then there's the thing I want to do. I want to do it. I'm a crazy lad. What can I say? Everything I do doesn't have to make sense or be good. Gotta spice it up a little bit. Gotta gotta keep everyone on their toes. Definitely, definitely goofed with Halo there. I should have been should have played a lot better if I was gonna do that. But oh well. Start with these. Okay. Summon if I can. Just run around and summon if I can. Holy crap! Guy, bungled that up. Oh. Okay, well, I think we're gonna be fine and get her, but... Uh. <laughs> that was so strange. Okay. Book it and cook it. What the hell is Deferred Dynamite? Looks great. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it with me. 
All right, all right. You and me, Frost Queen. That's pretty optimistic <laughs> to think that we're gonna make it there. Wait, our summonables can fall in? Those knights can fall in. Oh, what's this about? Increase movement speed by 10% for every arcane on cooldown. Oh, baby, we got some long cooldowns. This is gonna be nice. Oh, it's amazing. That is so freaking perfect for us. It's not even funny. It's nice. <laughs> it's not even funny. I like it. Ooh, ooh, goodness. This build's got me feeling loopy. <laughs> we are full on summoner here. Complete with the baby mechanic of running away when we're scared. Oh yeah! We don't have to touch anybody! Summon the Power Rangers for these three slimes. Okay, don't do it, don't do it. I know how this room works. Ooh. Just kind of, the, the real issue here is figuring out where the bad guys are <laughs> and where the good guys are. It's, it's kind of a visual mess here. Thank you. Double thank you. Nice little help there. I don't think I care enough about my cloak. My cloak is giving me health, or health and defense. Health and defense, I think. <laughs> what is happening? 20% now. Reduce damage taken by water. Honestly, that might be a good idea. Later. I I'm... I'll think about that. Because I think as long as we don't take a, too much damage from the Frost Queen, like if we go into the final boss with full-ish health, I think our, our summoned agents are going to rip them a new smile. Air Spinner basic up. Two discs at the same time? It before it's it's nice. Two of the same look, little looking rooms right by each other there. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Classic summoner can't do anything when he's actually faced with conflict. Oh. Summon everything! Summon everything! Stand still! Stand in the middle with my spinners, push them all away. Power Rangers will save me. Power Rangers. Ooh. It's like the, uh... <laughs> no, I'm not gonna go there. All right. Summon, 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 summon. No, run, 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 run. Oh. Summon. Kick the hell out of. I can't tell when he's actually. God, we can run so fast. <laughs> We're pretty strong. Screw the evening gloves. Nobody likes you. Probably not true. Some freak out there like. Likes <laughs> you. Oh, that's unnecessarily rude. Okay. They might actually be good. I just, I don't like them yet. Got the extra water defense here, which will help out with the Frost Queen, why not? And it'll help out with one of the moves that the uh, last boss will throw at us. Also these guys. 
So basically, there's a lot of reasons, I guess. Usually, I think that those items are stinky. But I think a lot of ah, this run's potential to win kind of hinges on the fact that we got to go into the final boss with a good amount of health. <laughs> I thought I was... Okay. thought I was frozen there. These guys... Ah, they're good against me, I guess. I thought they would run against... Ooh. They would, like, maybe jump on my ads, but I guess not. Heal, thank you. Heal, yeah. Flip, flap, flip, flap. Rave. Nope, nobody can come close. I'm a, I'm just spinning, playing Beyblades by myself while all of my, <laughs> all of my classmates just destroy the whole room. Ooh, real life. Ooh. I was briefly into Beyblades back when they were a, a thing for the first time. I had like two Beyblades. Pretty cool, huh? I kind of want this freezing aura. Here's the signature charger. I... I'm conflicted on Tozi's pocket watch. I think it would probably be good. I know we move faster when things are on cooldown, but we could just put them on cooldown again, you know? Yeah, the charge rate, signature charge rate going down would be a little stinky. But I... I have a feeling it'd be really worth it. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. I like this build. It involves many of my brain. Oh my god. All one or two of my brain cells. Okay. I see. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Let's freak out. Alright, so we can drop uh, Sands of Frost. Provides no benefit to us right now. And I don't think I'm going to want to take a water move into the boss anyways. I hate it all. But I want that extra crit chance because of the 300 damage business. I mean, you, you could all probably figure that out pretty, pretty easily, I'd imagine. But I'll tell you anyways. Okay, we're gonna come back for Tozi's pocket watch. Cause I'm crazy like that. Oh! It hurts. Um, what the hell is happening? This is just... It's a little too easy. A little... Ooh. A little too easy, huh? Oh, what do we want to drop, though? Supply crate. And got value to us no more. Not really. Did I drop the right thing? Oh, we're on the boss. Oh boy. What's our cooldown look like? Okay. <laughs> let's wait a second. Let's, let's talk slowly. Oh, dang it. Okay. Uh, what's happening? How much of this is good? <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? What is actually- No, what is happening? <laughs> that was, um, insane? No, what? 
<laughs> what happened? Most of it was bad. Oh my god. Very fast. Almost a one cycle, really. I have a feeling... Okay, well, phase one of this shouldn't be bad. Oh. Shoot. Okay. Just want to make sure we get all these. Why do we have a shield? Oh, that's our, uh, watch my jig. Magic shield. Projector, protector, reflector. Oh, I love it. Ah. Am I close enough? Oh my, come on. Give him boys. Jesus. It is just too good. Too strong. Too strong of a build. Bow down. Blink past. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I wonder when they add the, uh, the air mage, if you're going to have to do four floors in a row. Or what? Curious. Because they are, they've definitely said they're going to do that. Past that, I don't know what they're doing, but I, I, I hope that it's just still three floors and it's random which one you just don't get. I think that'd be neat. I feel like it would, it would switch up the runs a little bit more. 34 minutes. 3450s, that... There's an achievement for doing it under a certain amount of time. And I feel like that's fairly close to it, and I got almost 100% like, clear participation, or whatever you want to call it. Clear percentage. Let's go up and spend a blood load of money. My Fortune cookie randomly enhances our can at the beginning of each stage. Cool. While signature is charged, all damage is increased by 8% movement speed. Okay. Summons an aura that deals fire damage. Cool. Defeating foes lowers active cooldowns by 1%. Cool. Evade all attacks while dashing. Finally. Let's just buy all this stuff. We've seen a lot of this before. All rogues and archers have their spells limited. Oh. Oh. Maves quartz. Seven air. Evasion by 21%. Wow, all Arcana slows foes by 50%. Well, that is ridiculous. But that is going to do it for today. Thank you, buddy, for watching. I greatly appreciate any all support you to leave on the series up to this point. Thank you, thank you. What is this about? Oh. <laughs> That's that guy. See you next time. <laughs>